Uh, Mark Langell from Skinner Labs here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, we just recently got the Trotec Speedy 100 and uh, we're kind of building out our business around that in terms of what we can do on the laser engraving and cutting side of things. Um, our background before that is we've done 3D printing and CNC work, um, but the laser has always been on the wish list and we finally made the big step and uh, went down the path with Trotec. So far really been, it's been a lot of experimentation for the first month we've had it, but now we're getting into we're actually doing products for resale. Um, a lot of work with um, coasters, started off with in acrylic, trolleys, wood, um, doing custom designs of our own, also a few custom orders from clients where they're actually asking for their design in a coaster, um, various materials there. Uh, also talking to microbreweries and wineries and we've done a bit of design work there to do custom boxes, uh, totes for beer, uh, custom boxes for wine and special beer as well. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of work kind of across the board looking where the market is but it's anywhere from kind of a one-off, hey I'd like to have a custom coaster for an event through to I'd like to have a thousand coasters or a custom clock made um, for my business. My background uh, prior to kind of getting into the laser world has been I was about 20, 25 years plus in IT. Uh, so doing custom software development, website development. Um, so the background on that side really transitions well for dealing with kind of the software side of things and, and using the laser. Um, we've also, as another side business, we're in the uh, UAV drone market, so we do a lot of custom aerial work. Um, and that's where a lot of our previous work in terms of 3D printing and CNC kind of overlapped where we were creating custom parts for ourselves and also for clients. Uh, we also do some custom fiberglassing work as well, so we've built components for UAVs. The next step in that is really how can we take the laser and, and kind of incorporate that, be it creating elements for those markets just with the laser, but also building something that maybe incorporates, you know, all three elements where it's a product that may be CNC'd in part, it may be laser engraved, and it may also involve something from the 3D printer. So it's, we see the laser as, you know, it's a tool that can do a lot on its own, but I think that the power too is how can we use it within the other work that we've been doing. So far we've been doing a lot of kind of broad range of products uh, for resale, more kind of as test products, but the ones that kind of get a bit of following, we've uh, started producing for resale. So some of the more recent stuff we've done, uh, doing a lot of 3D topo maps, uh, more for local areas, so something that I've seen other people doing them online, but mostly you know you can get the Great Lakes, but can you get you know the small community and nowhere in Nova Scotia? Uh, so that's what we're kind of working on is doing using the laser to do both etching and cutting to create that that topo map that's kind of you know 3D 3D style layered approach. Um, we've also done similars with just pure etching with the maps. Um, basically, same area in that map as that, but it gives you a different style. So just doing a pure straight etching in wood um, and playing around with the different woods as well to get that, that different look and feel. Um, kind of from there as well, we've done a lot of work in coasters and um, with that playing with different materials as well. So we, we've done it anywhere from acrylic to trolleys to traditional wood. Um, a lot of that work has been small resales locally, but also um, through our Etsy store as well to sell a lot of the smaller products. Uh, some of the more custom pieces that we're actually currently um, working with some microbreweries with is doing um, Beer totes, um, so custom design, still finalizing some of the design on terms of kind of look and feel, but also working their branding into it so it becomes a custom piece. Same with the boxes for wineries or even custom beers, um, be they for small run gifts, but also larger productions for uh, wine stores to be able to sell as an actual gift box for wine. Um, we've also done a few acrylic and wooden phone stands. Um, this one happens to be um, with the Zelda logo on it. Uh, so playing around with uh, you know various different markets in terms of you know the type of branding, type of design, um, type of material um, to kind of give that different look and feel. Um, and that's what we've been finding with the power of the laser is it works across so many different materials, um, which in turn gives you such a different look because what we do on a coaster that's in acrylic is completely different from what we've done in wood um, and it really targets totally different markets as well. We also have our kind of more, I call it our dirty shop for our dusty, dirty, noisy work as well. So we do, we have traditional woodworking tools. Um, we also have our CNC, small CNC machine. We've done anything on the CNC from fiberglass material to wood material, um, building custom parts for drones, building um, custom mounting pieces. Um, wood products. Uh, some products that we've do, doing now on the laser, so we've done CNC engraved co coasters in the past. Now the speed of the laser has really made that 
much more a better product for doing that on. Um, but again, it depends on the look we're going for. Um, what we're hoping to do is really kind of some products where there's going to be that crossover between part of it may be a CNC piece and then it's finished on the laser. Uh, so it's it's a bit of everything. So. The way that our shop kind of works is uh, we do a little bit of everything and we've always tried to be that so it's more someone's looking for that custom project piece. Um, we kind of have a, a, a broad range of skill sets and tools to do it on so we're not we're not just a laser shop although you know it's a big piece of what we do now. Um, it's really we want to be another tool kind of in the toolbox is really how we see the laser. Yeah so one of our original kind of fancy piece of equipment was our 3D printer. We had that pr before we had our CNC and before the laser. Um, served as well, we still use it a fair bit to do kind of, anytime we have to make a more of a 3D model version of something. Um, although between the CNC and the laser now, it's starting to get used less. And I, a lot of that really just comes down to the application. I think we're still gonna be using it going forward, but um, pieces that we would have done maybe on the 3D printer now really are going to the CNC or more so the laser just because we can, with so many different materials available on the laser it's kind of replaced the plastics that we could do on the on the 3d printer in the past yeah so as I mentioned kind of to go along with the other tools that we do be it the CNC and the 3d printer the, the laser was a big piece of that uh, we had looked at a laser for some time um, kind of looked around contacted different companies and Trotec was the one that kind of was the I guess got back to us the fastest and was gave us the best information honest information I think being the big part of that um, and we we put in the investment it's you know it, it's not a cheap machine but uh, if we're doing production work, we want a reliable system that we knew we could actually do work for clients with. I'd just like to thank uh, Trotec for coming out and actually uh, seeing what we do and, and kind of putting this together. And if anyone's looking for, you know, custom pieces be it developed, be it something that's laser based or a combination of CNC and 3D printing, we certainly do that. It's, uh, we kind of take your idea and, you know, make it come to life. Uh, we're not just a laser engraving company. Uh, we do that too, but we're a little bit of everything. Uh, like everyone to kind of visit on our website at skinnerlabs.com or you can check us out on Instagram. It's probably where we are the most active on social media, but we're also on Facebook and Twitter as well.